Hi everyone, this is Blanca. Look, my new orchid. I went to an orchid um, sale at Florida Sun Coast on Friday and uh, no, this is not one I picked up there. <laughs> but I did get this, um, I ordered this one in bud and I think I've had it for almost two weeks now and now it's started to bloom. It's a dendrobium. I ordered it from a vendor in Hawaii and here is the tag. I'll share that with you. There, dendrobium stardust firebird. Ooh, really beautiful orchid. Beautiful dendrobiums. And you know, uh, my husband, he likes to uh, go to this one certain car, certain car wash and they do a real nice job and they hand wash it and all and I usually go with him but I sit outside with him and it's under a real small little foxtail tree and we both fight for the shade to sit under it <laughs> and uh, across the street from the car wash there is a real nice nursery it's a landscape nursery and um, I really don't go there because I it's more like landscaping plants and stuff like that but I always thought I'm gonna go one day but the street to cross on, on that corner the intersection there's a lot of traffic all the time so it sort of scares me to walk there so um, my husband went to get his car wash uh, last week and he said I'm gonna drop you off at that plant nursery place and when I'm done I'll pick you up I should be there in about 10 minutes or so 10 or 15 minutes and I said, okay, that'll be great, you know. So he dropped me off and he crossed the traffic and went to wash the car. And let me show you what I picked up. It's right behind here. Look at this. An Orangus orchid. I wasn't expecting to see that there. Beautiful. And she's got another bloom spike on this side too. She has two bloom spikes and she is potted. I'm not sure if she's potted in, um, I have to check it. I don't know, it kind of looks like soil. I'm not sure. But she's got a lot of nice roots too. But I, I have one of these, but mine is not, it did not bloom. So I went ahead and got this one. So he, he pulls up and he toots the horn. He goes, come on, get in the car. And I said, no, you get out of the car and open the hatch <laughs> and help me carry this little plant <laughs> into the car. It's not too little. <laughs> so next time he goes to wash the car, I don't think he's going to ask me to go along with him. <laughs> My Renantheris, still in bloom. Very pretty, more like an orangey red color. And the top one's way up there are opening now yeah I can't enjoy them they're way up there and there's another spike there and what the heck is that <laughs> look at that oh my god it's a spider it's one of those spiders that has a uh, like a shell on it but you know what there it is I'm not touching it See that? Because I can see white flies on the web. So it's doing its job. I did bring my uh, my web buster with me here. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's gonna take a break today. <laughs> and my um my Vanda up here, that's sick. She still has her pretty blooms. But I noticed one thing. I've been watering her and fertilizing her and I really need to more or less treat her. But look, it's growing us a new root there. So maybe she's not dying. We'll see. Oh, let me show you another Vanda. Um, look, Todd, 
this is the um, plant you gave me, the orchid you gave me. And I know it's it's a bloom spike there because the ants are like all over it. Get out, get out, get out, <laughs> get out. <laughs> yeah, they're after that sap. And it's got one here and one there. Get out of there. There. <laughs> I got the ants off of it. I'm constantly doing that because I, I think they might be, I don't know, biting on my um, buds there. Oh, let me show you the uh, banda that's in bloom here. And Todd, look, this is the plant you gave me some time ago with the black leaves. I think it's an alocasia, alocasia or something. I like it. It's pretty. All right, let's get over there. My reed orchid, radican, still has some blooms there. And that Vanda there, that Vanda, no, I didn't get it this weekend. <laughs> uh, this Vanda is my, I don't know if it's coming out, it's my $5 Vanda. Yeah, that's the one that uh, in my old videos I didn't want to remove that orchid tag, that price tag or whatever it was because she didn't have a name on it and that's the only way I thought I would distinguish her from from all the other Vandas. I don't think it's coming out but she is a beautiful rich rich pink, beautiful dark pink and she has two spikes on her. You know what? For five dollars, this is the best band, <laughs> the best orchid I've ever gotten. It she blooms like twice a year. <laughs> All right, let me get, let me show you what's in bloom in the pergola. Okay, I can't show it to you from here, so I'm gonna have to bring it out. Before I bring it down, let me show you what else is in bloom. I have two spikes. I don't have very many slippers. Well, anyway, slipper orchids. There's a lot of house slippers around here, though. <laughs> Look, isn't that beautiful? Wow, I should get more of these. But I thought they were such slow growers. But no, this one blooms every year. She's got more buds up there. Just like a cow. Yeah, she blooms once a year. Look at that. And she gets prettier every year. Yeah, two beautiful long spikes on them. In the, in the spikes. Let's see if I can show you. They're hairy. Look at that. Fuzzy little things, huh? <laughs> Alright, here's her tag. Path Burinisi. That's what Bur Berenice. Maybe that's an N. Benice, I don't know. But uh, I really like this orchid. I got it from Smiley Orchids a few years ago. Oops. Let's see what else I have out here that may be blooming. And uh, still in bloom is this big, beautiful, gorgeous Cattleya. She has bloomed for a long time now. And oh, I, Todd, if you're watching, I want to show you something. Let me bring it down. Look, Todd, that's not what I want to show you. But look, Big Mama, she actually fell. She is growing on a coconut in, inside the coconut. And it, there were some like little holes where the wires went through. Like I'll show you about in the middle of the screen there where that root is. And she uh, ripped, the wires ripped right through the coconut shell. So I got to come up with some other way of, right now she's sitting on that little rusty table. But I have to find another way of hanging her. And she's got two, I believe two groves in there, two new groves. Yeah, she's got two, two new groves. Alright, let me bring down what I want to show you. Ta-da! There it is. Three buds. 
Yes, that's the uh, orchid you gave me. And, you know, I had her name tag hanging here and when I potted her up and all, but like I said, I bought some flea market <laughs> tags. They didn't last very long. So I lost a lot of tags along the way. I don't know where they went. This one, luckily, I still, I found it, the other half. And that is her name. Can't wait to see that one bloom. Oh, let me show you what I was going to show you. <laughs> I keep getting around it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Before I go there, uh, lately I have been mounting and repotting orchids because they're all growing new growths and they all have roots like crazy. And look at the roots on this one. Wow. And that's nothing. Look at this one here. But I'll, I'll show you that on my next video. One of my uh, desert rose is in bloom. Absolutely beautiful. Does She has quite a bit of blooms on her. Wow. Amazing. And uh, we haven't gotten to put the mulch in there, but we took out a lot of those uh, seeds that were falling off this tree, off the Christmas palms. So we still have some work in front of us. And you know what, I'm gonna move her because she's down here and I can't see her and I want you to see how pretty her blooms are. Still in bloom. Well, here she is, I moved her. But I think I'm in a, in a shady spot here. I'm not sure if it's gonna come out too good, but it's a species orchid and I believe I've had her for like two years now she has a beautiful beautiful lip look at that I don't know if I'm able to focus but she's got um, she's got this pseudobulb with two blooms and there are two more on this side here look at that isn't that beautiful? She comes from Brazil. She is a Catlia. Let's see if I can get to her tag here. Catlia Cheriliana. Species orchid. And you know, I I read that they are no longer found in nature. They are completely extinct um, from the wild. And uh, let me let me see. I heard they smell good. Mmm, pretty, pretty soft smell. Anyways, um, she comes from Brazil and grows in areas. I I think I read there's just two areas they come from in Brazil that are along a stream. And I think she's doing good here. You know what? They don't like it really hot. They like it a little cooler than Catlias and somehow she's doing good here I'm not complaining because it can get pretty hot here but uh, I'm thinking maybe she's thinking that somewhere along here she's near a stream <laughs> no I, I'm just kidding I, I just know that I can't keep her in the Sun she does like bright light but not directly beautiful orchid and let me let me show you what I picked up at Florida Sun Coast Orchids and also I picked I saw Natalia there I saw Todd and I picked up some really really nice pots from Natalia this is one of the orchids I picked up at, at uh, Florida Sun Coast Orchids but it wasn't from Jim Roberts or Florida Sun Coast he had other vendors there he had invited um, for one, Natalia was there with just one more orchid, Brendan Orchids, um, Miranda Orchids was there, and this came from Miranda Orchids right here. It, I got it bare root. It's a division of one of her plants. She had several of them, and pretty reasonable. I believe they were just ten dollars. And she had the uh, the mother plant there that was in bloom. It was so beautiful. And if I um, find a picture I'll insert it now, let me see if I can zoom in on this tag let's see here if I 
Let me turn it. Sometimes these cameras just don't cooperate, do they? <laughs> Come here. It's not, I, I can't see it through the lens either, so I'm just going to go ahead and type it up on the screen because I can't see the name. And uh, there, it's coming out now. There. And uh, this mount is one of Natalia's Just One More Orchid. I love it. It's so beautiful. It's got that beautiful pale blue up there. Pretty light beige. And it is a nice size. And I call it, the, I don't know what she calls it. I call it the honeycomb. <laughs> honeycomb because of all the little, look at all the little holes on it. For the roots to travel. All right, and let me show you what else I picked up. So this is another little orchid I picked up out there at um, at Florida Sun Coast, but this one came from Miranda Orchids, and um, this one here was, I believe, ten dollars, and it's just a little seedling. But she had a photo of the um, full grown size blooming one and I really liked it. Let me zoom in here on her tag. Catlia Ludomania con color by self. And you know what? I'll insert a photo of what the blooms should look like. Okay, so um, I believe it was just $10 for this little one and she's very tiny. So I don't know if she'll be blooming size for years to come. And she is growing in sphagnet moss. And eventually I will take her out of there because I don't care for sphagnet moss. She has a new little growth there. So maybe it's a good time to go ahead and repot her. So that was one of the ones I got. And then the other one I purchased was from another vendor that was there has a guest vendor. And this is a, I'll show you the tag here first. There it is. And I got it from Brendan Orchids. And this is, um, a cross of a why not and a Bretonia and it's a small bloom I'll show you the bloom is beautiful where is it right there really pretty bloom she just has one bloom and I paid $25 for her but well worth it and uh, I can tell by looking at her that every single pseudobulb here every leaf here she bloomed here in the past she bloomed here in the past she bloomed there and she bloomed in this one too so she is a freaking bloomer <laughs> I really like her she's so pretty and I, I don't think she has a fragrance and also, Brendan, Brendan said that uh, this is one of his father's cross. So he basically created this orchid. All right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, the next five I picked up were from um, Florida Sun Coast Orchids. And like I said, it was um, what they call a uh, orchid sale, bench clearance, and uh, Orchids were marked down extremely low. I think I even saw some cuts, divisions for $5 and $10, $15, $20. Really reasonable. And um, this one here, I have no idea what it is. <laughs> I think I, either I lost a tag or I didn't have a tag because uh, I, I saw a picture of supposedly the blooming orchid and it was beautiful. But the reason I got her, she's looking a little pale, isn't she? <laughs> but the reason I got her was, oh well, here, look, this one was originally 20 and they marked it down to $15. And I have her supported here. 
because she's going to tip over if I don't, if I move her. Oh, she might be okay there because all her roots are growing outside of the pot. And I think that's why I got her because I think she would make a very nice mounted orchid. And I also looked in there and I saw um, a new growth and the new growth is like, let me see, uh, where is it at? Right about, I can't find it. Yeah, there, that's it. Uh, right in, right about in the middle of the screen, um, she's got some dry, like dry, that paper sheaf, sheaf thing on it. It's right there. Um, let's see if I can get a better. there about in the middle of the screen that's the new growth so that's why I got her because she's going to be growing and putting out roots yeah I and I'll have to wait till she blooms to find out what she is okay here's another little uh, seedling but I like the way it looked and again they had a photo of the blooming one or they might have even had one in bloom but price was a little bit too high so this was ten dollars but I like all the coloring in the leaves. Very pretty. And here's her tag. If I find a photo of it, I'll go ahead and insert it. Yeah, I didn't do a video out there. What I should have done was brought my camera out and taken pictures of the blooming ones, and I didn't, because that way I know exactly what I'm expecting from it okay and another one that I I got him down here in a box <laughs> let's see if I can get him out of the box without breaking any of the leaves oh whoa, whoa, there it comes here's another one I like too and uh, no she's not blooming size but possibly next year and this one here um, there's her tag and it's kind of stuck in there because it's roots all around it there it comes there it is and again, if I find a photo, I'll insert it. And I think that's why I bought this one, because they either had a photo or they had one there that was in bloom, and it was absolutely beautiful. And this one, I believe, was $20. Let me put it to the side here. All right. And here's a nice size one here. Yeah, I, I don't know if I already have this orchid. <laughs> I, I don't know, honestly, but the name cer certainly sounds familiar. There's her name. And again, if I find a photo, I'll go ahead and insert it. And I don't want to lose the tag on this one temporarily. But she's got a nice new growth here. So, and if she's a seedling, she's a good size one. And I hope it's not one I already have. All right. And the very last one, let me make room. And the very last one I got. She's a nice size here. She's bloomed before right in here and she's got this nice new growth that will probably be blooming uh, maybe this summer and there is her tag Elsie Irene Finley that looks like spring bounty I think Natalia has this orchid and it's really beautiful 
This one was only $20 for a big size orchid. So they all need water, so I'm going to go ahead and water them next. And let me look at this beautiful bloom down here. No, it's not an orchid. It's um, it, it's a shrub-like, and it comes from Brazil. And I don't think there's a tag, but it's called T. Venetia, I believe. And I've had this plant several times before, and I've had it planted in the yard, and they always died. And then I realized that my reclaimed water was a little too much on the salty side, and it couldn't take it. So I have this in a pot right now, and I am just watering it by hand with city water. Well, I've come to an end on my video, and I just want to show you this Phalaenopsis that's blooming. She's potted in there. Really pretty one. And of course, that one's still in bloom. I really like that one. And this pretty little dendrobium is just one bloom, but look how pretty. And sad, sad to say, one of my favorite orchids right here, she's just got one bloom. And sad to say, as I'll show you, look, she's infested with scale. Um, do you see about in the middle of the screen all the white there? on the green leaf there. That's all scale. So I am treating her with orthing and I'm gonna have to repot her and I may just cut the flower off and repot her because uh, she's not doing too good but she does have some nice roots anyways and new growth here and she's got more new growth elsewhere but if you look in the leaf there in the center there there's even scale in there so and I I think the ants I just I just killed a bunch of ants that were climbing all over her I think the ants are spreading the uh, scale here's another new growth so yeah I think if I just take her off of this off of this uh, basket and repot her and clean her up really good she may be able to survive and make it well, that's the end of my video. I want to say thank you to everybody for watching my videos. I really appreciate it. And you all have a nice, nice week. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am back. Yes. Because you know what I forgot to show you? It's something I am really in love with. It's, it's, just, it's just one more orchid pots. Yes, I had them in the garage. And I went in the garage to get some rainwater out for my orchids. And I saw the box sitting there and I realized, oh my God, I forgot to show them my new pots. Isn't that a beautiful Phalaenopsis I have? And you know, sadly, I, um, oops, sorry, I was taking her outside to water her. And as I was coming back in, I found a spike on the ground with buds. And I said, where'd that come from? And I looked and I realized that I broke one of her spikes off right about in the middle of the screen and it had like four buds on it. Too bad. Well, and oh, sorry about that. That's another one that's in bloom that's really pretty. Oh, wow, sorry about that, all that jumping around. That's a really dark color one. Very dark. It's coming out lighter. But anyways, let me show you. I'm out on my screen porch, like I said, and I'm, I'm putting them here because I don't want to break them. And the very first one here, I fell in love with this as soon as I saw it. And it's got these orange butterflies on it. It's got a lot of drainage holes all around. It's a nice heavy pot. Very nice. Yeah, I like this one. And you know, with these type of pots, you can put in a nice size big orchid in there and very little media, um, maybe some charcoal, leca, and, it, and a little bit of bark. And uh, they start growing, the roots start growing so fast that they attach themselves, even with little media. I really like it. I like the colors on this one too. 
I don't know if I can get a nice clear shot of that. And the next one, let me put this one down. Okay, and the next one is I have one similar to this and I really like it. And you know what I like about this one? That is shallow. So again, I don't use a lot of media in it. And their roots will definitely start attaching really good. Isn't oh look at that. There's a couple of I didn't notice that till now. There's an imprint of Florida palm trees. It's another heavy one. But you know what I really like too about these pots? It's that she puts enough of these holes up on the top so you could hang them from anything. You could hang them to grow this way or this way. All right, let's move on to the next one. This one here looks like a little a little sailor's cap. <laughs> I liked it as soon as I saw it. I don't know what it is, but I like those colors in there. And again, you don't have to use media with these. Maybe some um, some coconut fiber or some Spanish moss to hold moisture. You could put your orchid on here. See, it's rounded up here. You could put your orchid on here and let it travel down all around like that. Let the roots travel. Or, and, and you can also hang it like that. Or you can put your orchid inside the little cup there and let it grow that way. Very nice. And I'm saving the last one, which is my favorite one. Let me get it. And my last one. It's my favorite one. This is looks it's purple, but it's looking more like a blue. And I saw this in her video, one of her videos, I think it was on Facebook, and I said, oh, I hope she has that when I go get over there, because I really like it. Look at that. I just love all that. The, the pattern, the design. This is the, I don't know what she has. <laughs> she has names for them. I call it the noodle bowl, because <laughs> it's a bowl. And doesn't that look like a bunch of noodles? Oh yeah, the orchids are going to love growing in here. Really nice. Nice and heavy. And this one, you don't have to hang it, but you could. There are holes where you can, um, right in here, even there, where you can put a hanger on it. And it stays nice and flat that you can put it on a table. Really beautiful, Natalia. I love her work. And then, when I was getting ready to leave she said oh wait a minute come here <laughs> and I don't know why she's so sweet she gifted me this I love this look how big those holes are and she mentioned that I could put like a neo focata on there but man it'll go right through the holes I think <laughs> uh, but you know the one orchid that I said I want to mount they had a lot of roots on the outside that would work very nicely on this one very nicely she's so sweet love that girl and the best part of all she had her baby princess there martha was with her she's so adorable i mean absolutely adorable she gave me a hug she's so cute love that little girl well now i've come to an end of the video so this time i'm out so Bye, everyone.